you know, our viewpoint is it's our book. We do whatever we want with it. <laughs> Okay. I mean, you know, people say, well, the Bible tells you to do this, and we're like, dudes, we wrote this thing, and then we do what we want with it. <laughs> wow. Hondo. 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 I don't know a lot about uh, Greek Orthodox or even any kind of Orthodox churches. Apparently, there's a couple different ones. So I, I got a book, and I started reading it, and it's not arranged very well. I'm used to uh, systematic theologies where they have entire chapters dedicated to God's attributes and, and the way of salvation, justification, all that stuff. So it's actually very simple. But the Greek Orthodox book that I have is just a bunch of uh, different essays compiled together. And it's very, it's very abstract and philosophical but i came across this first video where the russian orthodox the head of the russian orthodox church just declares that all the soldiers that die in ukraine are just going to heaven like apparently they can do that in the orthodox church and this guy another guy I watched on um he's on the 10 minute bible hour i had to watch this a couple times because the the guy from the show he's like how do i get saved how to become a christian in um the greek orthodox church and and he he doesn't really make it very clear so he basically becomes human and and tries to reclaim us but not with taking our freedom away he comes and says this is the uh, the path of salvation and it's not the death that saved us and this whole thing about in isaiah that uh, by his stripes are we healed Mm -hmm. You know, does that mean that by whipping him and making him suffer that God somehow his justice was justified? Or does it mean that because he did that, we found a path? He, he finally says a couple things. He says, Jesus showed us a path when he, when he died on the cross and when he rose from the dead. Now, this is what Pelagius said. He said, he said that, we're all capable of living righteously and this guy says a similar thing he talks about free will pelagius said we have a free will we all we are all able to live as christ did christ did not save us he did not die for our sins because we didn't we we don't have that we don't have this this inherent guilt that we're born with but he showed us a path so that we could earn our salvation and so this is what the uh, greek orthodox church believes that that we earn our salvation he also says that we will all be resurrected which um, i mean sure that's fine i guess but he outright says we don't accept the authority of the bible we wrote the Bible so we can do whatever we want with it, which is extraordinarily wrong, which is why he mocks Protestantism. He, he talks about his interpretation of uh, Catholic and Protestant. He kind of, kind of bundles them together. And God is not so punishing as to say, oh, I have to have a price of blood. You know, is God really that narrow? And he says, God is not so narrow as to just demand blood. But this is what scripture teaches. The blood isn't just blood. It is life. God demands blood of the lamb because he demands life when we sin. Our greatest possession, our life, God demands it because we have sinned against him. And sin is the greatest offense that we can commit against God. So naturally, God demands our life, our greatest possession, our blood. And since we cannot give our blood, Christ gave his. But who cares about that, according to this guy? Another guy got upset with me because I called the Catholic Church pagans. Where pagan religion is anything that is just unchristian. You know, the, the Greek mythologies, the Roman mythologies, the nature worshippers, the Druids, 
all these people, the witches, anything that is not Christian, anything that even adds to Christianity, adds to the Bible, this is what the Catholics do and, and, the, and the Orthodox Church does, anything that they manipulate, that they change, that they contradict, salvation by works is a direct contradiction of Scripture. This is why they're pagans, because they abuse Scripture, and in doing this, they become unchristian. This guy got really upset with me, and I had to, I, I had to, again, I had to question him, because they, they're not clear. They're not clear on what they believe, what their authority is, because when they finally get right down to it, they reject the authority of Scripture, which, of course, makes them pagan. And I had to, I had to drag it out of this guy. He kept changing the subject. And finally, he admitted that the authority comes from the apostles. And I said, okay, so the Bible. But then, why do you, why do you honor, why do you worship Mary? And he said, it's honor. And I'm like, are you going to honor me? I'm a saint. We're all saints. But uh, then he just kind of went off the rails. But there is only one way we can know salvation. That is through the Bible, through Scripture. Everything else is made up. And how in any way can you imagine something and just declare, this is what, this is how God saves us. You can't just make something up and say, God saves us this way. Because you are dictating to God what he will do. God will not. God will not honor that. God will not just obey what you want him to do. It's patently ridiculous. And I was talking to this guy, this Catholic guy, and he's like, yeah, the uh, Vatican II is wrong. We don't, there's a lot of conservative Catholics that don't like the Vatican II. We hold to the Vatican I. I don't know. <laughs> you guys have two different standards that say opposite things how do you know what's right and and this is a problem they ultimately reject scripture and so they can do whatever they want which is a problem because how do you know how do you know how you are saved if you reject the bible whatever you say is just made up by men and you cannot rely on man's word you cannot put your trust in men just uh just completely ridiculous yes i call you pagans you are pagans and this is his argument we have 1500 years of history versus you protestants you only have 500 years who cares who cares about your history your history is nothing but perversion violence and error all kinds of doctrinal error. And besides that, scripture has been around since way before your your Catholic Church. But regardless, we should pray for them. Pray for the Catholics, pray for the Orthodox, pray for all the pagans. And have a good morning.